Hello there Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I am doing your November general tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, so let's get into your reading. So we're going to start with the Soul Travelers cards. Um, these uh, will help us to see what is on your soul's journey for the month of November. So we have Wandering Path, Enjoy the Journey. Yeah, so there's this sense of, you know, coming into perhaps a little bit of not knowing the path and being okay with that and choosing your path. Yes, I think for a lot of you, you're taking a new direction in your life. Kind of exciting. Looking for something new and not maybe really clear about where you want to go with it all, but being fine with that too. So let's see what we have here. We have why, breathe, and blessed. And not for you. There's something that you are leaving behind. You're taking this opportunity to leave something behind. And yet at the same time, you know, you're asking the question, why? Why was that on my path? Why is it no longer good for me? And then, you know, taking time to see the benefits, being grateful for the experience, and then also taking a deep breath, reflecting, and then allowing things to move out of your life that are no longer, you know, necessary for you or are, you know, they've just met their expiration date. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and go to the tarot and get some more details about what this is that you're leaving behind. Is it a relationship? Is it a career or a job or just a situation that you're just like, yeah, I'm ready for something new. Really nice energy. Okay, so let's see what your present energy is. Three of Wands, you have that energy of, you know, just kind of waiting. Waiting, you know, you're not like in a big rush. It's, you know you need to make a change or you want to make a change in your life and you're just waiting for the right opportunity to come your way. It's this sense of I am prepared for it, I'm ready for it, and I'm just going to allow it to come to me. Not taking a lot of action, which sometimes is, you know, a great, um, you know, it's a calm, very calm feeling that I have here. Okay, so what's your obstacle? strength. You're, you're somewhat having, um, you know, a little bit of a lack of courage, a lack of courage to maybe put a little bit more action into this. We'll see what the advice is, but there's a need for a little bit more courage in this situation. It may be that you need courage to leave this, a certain situation, right? Um, it's kind of, you know, you have to, you have to be willing to say goodbye to something. And that can be really scary because even if the thing that we're with no longer, you know, meets our needs or is what we want in our life, it sometimes is still hard to say goodbye to it because we know what it is. Um, when we step onto a new path, we don't know where we're going or where it may lead. So it's unfamiliar and that's why it's a little bit scary just because it's different. It doesn't mean it's wrong for us. It just means it's different. Okay. So here is the four of swords. This is, you know, this is your advice from spirit. And you know, it's kind of interesting because the advice is just to rest, just to rest and relax and allow, allow the healing to um, take place. Okay, it's too many. So let's see what the outcome is. Can we get one card for the outcome, please? Hmm, Knight of Wands. You have to do the healing before you can take action. On the bottom, Nine of Swords, kind of up in your head about this. Kind of concerned. Um, there's something that you're holding on to. You're super attached to. We have the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Six of Cups. There's something in your past that you're really holding on to. It could be, you know, with the King of Wands, this is kind of your energy, right? The Wands energy. You feel like you've kind of lost part of you 
in something that, or you're concerned you may lose part of you if you go on to this new path. There could be something that you know needs to change, and yet at the same time, if you make this change, you're going to lose something about yourself that you really like. Um, so, for instance, okay, when um, I uh, retired from teaching, okay, one of the things that I knew I was going to really miss was the children, working with the children. Um, and so it was really hard for me to leave. I knew it was the time for me to go, but at the same time, I knew I was going to miss that, um, you know, the bond that you build with your students as a teacher, you know, really caring about them, having, you know, feeling like they really care about you, that sense of community, you know, working with my colleagues and everything. There was a part of me that was really tied into that. And it was very difficult when I stopped teaching. It was a true void in my life. Now, I knew that it was the right thing to do. I knew I was stepping onto a new path and it was the right path for me. But there was a part of me that really knew I was going to miss the interaction that I had with my students and fellow colleagues. Um, and so it was a part of me um, that couldn't be replaced very quickly or easily, right? Um, and yet at the same time, there's this sense, you know, there's something in your life right now, you know that you have to leave behind and that you're going to really miss but you know that this new path, you can't take that thing with you. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when my uh, one son went off to kindergarten, <laughs> okay, he had this blanket that he, you know, his blankie, he carried it with him everywhere. I mean, it went on his bike with him, it went to bed with him, it went everywhere, right? Um, he wore it literally like a superhero's cape. Um, but when it was time to go to kindergarten, I was like, Brad, you cannot take <laughs> that blanket to kindergarten. And, you know, it was something that he needed to leave at home. But at the same time, it was, you know, he just couldn't understand this blanket goes with me everywhere. It's that same type of thing. There's something that you do have to leave behind. And it's about kind of grieving that, uh, realizing that it's okay that you know, to be really grateful for that thing, that situation, that person that was in your life, and yet knowing that you're going to be okay without it. You're going to have the courage to go forward. So let's see what the Three of Wands is here. Yeah, I think that there's this something that's holding you back. With the Three of Wands, you're kind of waiting. You're kind of waiting to see. Is there a way I can take that person or that situation with me? You're not quite ready to give something up. You have so much new energy here. You're on a new path or you are about to choose your new path. You have the Ace of Pentacles. This is always like to me a gift from the universe. A new situation is coming in. You have the Ace of Swords. You're getting new information and with the Page of Pentacles, again, you know, I feel for a lot of you, this is possibly like a career situation, a job situation. You're getting like a new job offer. It means you may have to move to a new town and you can't take all your friends with you or you can't take your family with you. You know, um, there's a situation where you know that the best thing for you is to go onto this new path and yet at the same time, you're having a hard time possibly giving up some part of your life that you really enjoy. You've been waiting a long time for this situation. You've been waiting for your ships to come in. And guess what? They're coming in. <laughs> They're coming in. This is the opportunity you have been waiting for. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, sometimes when we get exactly what we want, then we're like, oh, well, wait a minute. I'm not sure I really wanted it. Yes, you really do. It's just kind of um, that sense of reality. <laughs> it's reality. It's a reality check. Here it is. And then, you know, the universe brings in that job offer you've been waiting for. And then you're kind of like, well, yeah, but now I can't take my friends with me, you know. 
but that's okay because you can still keep in contact with them. You can still visit them and you will make new friends in your new location. This is a good path for you. This is definitely a positive change for you. Okay, so let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, so we have a moon card on the bottom. This is your area of resistance or your obstacle. There are things that you do not know. There are, the divine is guiding this situation and you don't have all of the information. Um, you have the page of swords and then we have, you know, the devil card again and then we have the hierophant. It could be that for some of you, you thought, you know, you're holding on to some belief system. Um, you're having a hard time finding the courage to unattach or detach from some situation. Um, and it could be with the Hierophant, it could be family, it could be um, a long-term committed relationship, um, or something, or a relationship that you thought might go long-term. Um, there's some attachment to something. It could also be that for some of you, it could be, say, you get this job offer and it's um, you know, a, a good distance from where you live now. And say that you know you have family members that kind of rely on you. Say your parents are getting older and they kind of rely on you to help them around the house or run errands for them or, or whatever. Um, or you have friends or family that kind of, you know, depend on you in certain situations, okay? You're feeling really attached. It's a sense of responsibility, Sag. I get this sense that you have, you feel like there's some sense of responsibility of staying where you are. And yet at the same time, you know, your soul is asking you to go in a new direction. Um, underneath this is navigating by the stars and under that it says follow your bliss like this I really feel is like a once in a lifetime opportunity that's coming in for you um, if you feel like this is kind of some type of a love situation it could be that you are having to move a long distance maybe from your family in order to pursue you know this relationship um, and once again, it's kind of like, you know, this sense of no, a, a sense of responsibility, a sense of, you know, this is where I need to be. And yet at the same time, you're being drawn in this new way. Underneath that is wise leader. See, this is like the, the king of wands that came out, right? It's this sense that, you know, you are a leader. It's like stepping back into uh, the leader within you. And under that is infinite abundance. Every card coming out is showing that this is a good path for you. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness, financial abundance. It's a good path for you. It's just you needing this um, feeling very, it's about, I feel like you're kind of wanting to do the right thing. It's like listening to, well, I should do this instead of, following your bliss. Instead of listening to your own heart, you're kind of allowing perhaps other people to, you know, make you feel guilty about going on a new path. All right, so let's see what the Four of Swords is. This is your advice. Ace of Wands, you have a lot of new energy here. Six of Cups, yeah, Queen of Cups, and then the Five of Pentacles on the bottom with the tower. For some of you, you could have possibly like lost your job or, you know, you may have had a business and lost a lot of money, you know, with the five of pentacles. There could have been a true financial hardship on your part. Um, and, you know, that's why you've been kind of waiting perhaps for a new job. And this new job comes in, you know, the job offer comes in suddenly and then you have to make a decision, but it's also a farther away from you. Yeah, there's something about working, you know, putting a little love into your work, into your career, wanting to love the work that you do. And, you know, you do, you have a lot of love 
Um, to me, the Six of Cups in this sense is, you know, either a romantic connection or family connection that you're really um, looking at. But there's also the Ace of Wands, you know, ready for a new start. Trying to heal from having to start a new, <laughs> going in a new direction and leaving, you know, people behind. And once again, it's not the sense that you're leaving them forever. It's just this sense that they can't go with you. If you look at this Knight of Wands, you know, the Knight, it's actually a feminine Knight in this um, illustration. The Knight of Wands, she's on the horse by herself, right? She's going for her passion. She's doing what she, she is following her heart. And yet at the same time, she's doing it by herself. She's doing it on her own. So let's see what we have here with the Knight of Wands, King of Wands. I'm really happy to see that. Three of Pentacles, the star. Yeah, the hermit. It's about going within and listening to your heart, allowing your intuition to help you with the situation. Yeah, when you take action, look at this. <laughs> you step right back into your energy. Yeah, you, you become the, the wise leader of your own life right? You follow your own path. You are the beacon for others. Like this is, you're really being called to do this because, you know, with the hermit card there, you're going to be working either with others. Like this is, this is going to, to me with the three of pentacles here, this situation is going to work out. Like it, it you know, if you are far from family or something like that. Like you're going to have opportunities come so that you can still visit them or talk to them. Like they're not, I think this is a true message that they're not going to be out of your life forever, okay? They're still going to be there. It's just that you may have to venture on this path by yourself. And look at this, you've been wishing on a star for this to come in. This is your opportunity. You know, um, and it's about taking it. Uh, one of the things is that <laughs> sometimes I say uh, to myself when I'm trying to decide what I want to do about a situation like this is that if I don't take this new path, right, how am I going to feel about this? You know, five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, am I going to be, you know, like kicking myself and saying, why didn't I go do that? I, when I got that opportunity, why didn't I do it? Um, because we can't get really stuck in our life. And the reason is, is because it's comfortable. We know what it is. Um, but life is about living and it's about taking these new adventures and going, you know, just giving it a try. And if it doesn't work, it's not a failure. It's an adventure that brings you a lot of experiences. You know, you're about to learn some new things by going on this adventure, new things about yourself, new things about the universe, you know, new things about other people, you will know, learn new skills and talents. And it's just a really, um, a really nice feeling with this new path that you're taking. Okay. So here's your creativity Oracle card evolve creative ideas evolve out of the invisible and profound nothingness of proverbial consciousness. And I, I feel like part of this is, um, you know, you're, you're being called to do this and you may be trying to overthink it, almost talk yourself out of it. And yet at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, if somebody sat you down and said, what is it you really want? You probably like, it would just pop out. I want to go on this adventure and be like, okay, go. And then what would follow? Yeah, but no, leave that part off. Go for it. This is a, a really good venture. Manifesting and doing. And I think that that's the thing. I think you've manifested this situation to come into your life. Now the reality check is, do you really want it? And here it says manifesting and doing. That means taking the action. Like you've taken the time to manifest this in. Um, it's something that you've really wanted. Uh, you know, your heart has desired this. And now it's like taking action on it and unstick the, un, uh, unstick the stuck. So I feel like some of you have felt like you have been stuck. You know, this three of wands is kind of a stuck energy, just waiting, waiting for the opportunity to come. And here it is. 
Wow, I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Um, wow, what a nice reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And if you resonated with it, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I hope to see you really soon. Much love and light to you. Bye for now.